Today we are with Sandy Lejeune, Chair of the Surf Rider Foundation Santa Barbara Chapter. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you? We, I'm, I'm fine, thanks, and we're glad to have you today. Your organization does so many good things for the environment. So why don't we start by explaining our viewers what, what's the mission of this foundation? Sure. Uh, the Surf Rider Foundation's mission is the protection of the world's oceans, waves, and beaches for all people through conservation, activism, research, and education. Tell me more about the background. When was it founded? Our chapter was founded in 1992. Uh, National is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. There are approximately 50 to 60,000 members in the United States and about 60 chapters around the country. Excellent. Now let's talk about all the activities you do as an organization. You were mentioning a few, but I would like to start with the efforts that you have done saving the Gaviota Coast. Could you tell me more about that? Yeah, well, we are one of a number of groups locally that has, uh, has had a, uh, a particular emphasis on protecting the beautiful stretch of coastline that is just to the west here of Goleta, referred to as the Gaviota Coast. It's a very short but very diverse stretch of coastline. It's one of the last undeveloped stretches of coastline in Southern California. And there is intense pressure for uh, development out on that coastline because it's because of its proximity to Santa Barbara and Los Angeles, the very high value of land out there. Uh, it's very beautiful, it's very attractive. There's a particular development that is threatening uh, a, a, a parcel out there just two miles from the urban limit line uh, known as Naples that uh, the Santa Barbara chapter and other local environmental groups, the Na Naples Coalition, Gaviota Coast Conservancy, all of us have been, uh, Sierra Club, a number of others, have been working on to try and preserve. That is uh, one of only about a dozen development projects that are pending for the Gaviota Coast. Good. Now let's talk about trash, because I know it's an issue here in, in any beach. So what do you do to keep the beaches clean? Well, uh, our, since our chapter was founded, we've always been involved with beach cleanups. It's a, it's, it's a very common activity for any surf rider chapter uh, to take on. And it simply involves going out to a beach. We usually publicize the event with our membership. Uh, sometimes we organize beach cleanups with other groups. And um, we've been approached by local groups. Sometimes it's a company. Sometimes it's a, a citizens group, too. And it's, it's a really simple process. In fact, doesn't need a lot of organization. Anybody can do it, and we encourage anybody to do it. But when we go out, we take uh, plastic bags and gloves, and we, we try to move from beach to beach. We try to not always go to the same beach. And we just meet. Uh, we talk a little bit about who we are to whoever is joining us that day, uh, people who are not actually members of our chapter. And then we pass out the bags and the gloves and get at it. Great. Now you have a campaign that is called Rise Above Plastic. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. Rise Above Plastics uh, is a campaign that was started by Surf Rider National. And again, uh, like any number of Surf Rider National's campaigns, they are trying to uh, implement this at the local level. So local chapters, ours is one of them, uh, is participating in the Rise Above Plastics campaign, focusing on a couple of things, both trash on the beach, especially plastic trash, but uh, in specific, uh, one of the areas of focus is single-use plastic. So that can be anything from plastic bags to non-recyclable plastic containers, and there are a number of those. The water bottles, even though people say and think that those are recyclable, a lot of that stuff ends up being single-use because people don't actually ever get it to a recycling center. As a matter of fact, we have someone from our chapter here uh, who I'd like to introduce at this point and bring into the conversation, Sonia Narens, who is working with us uh, our chapter on, on the Rise Above Plastics campaign, as well as another uh, campaign of her own. So let's bring Sonia in. Sure, Sonia, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, how are you? Nice meeting you. Can you tell me more about this campaign, please? Well, the Rise Above Plastics campaign here in Santa Barbara, we're really trying to focus, like Sandy said, on the single-use plastics. As a volunteer for Surf Rider, I had the opportunity to attend uh, two stakeholder meetings at the city of Santa Barbara regarding a possible uh, reduction and or tax fee or ban on single-use plastic and paper bags. And we've kind of formed a coalition um, called HOT, which is Healing Oceans Together. And uh, our focus right now is really to follow in the footsteps of other cities in California, like Santa Monica, San Francisco, um, Encinitas, Los Angeles. These cities have either already implemented or will be in 2010 
either fees, tax, or bans on single-use plastic bags in grocery stores and pharmacies. And Santa Barbara, I think, is a great place where we have the opportunity to make a difference like these other cities. We already are very environmentally conscious, and um, we have a lot of people that are willing to back up and support that type of thing. Congratulations for that. And now that Sonia is here, can you tell me more about your team? How do you organize yourself? Uh, the local chapter has approximately 450 members. Um, of those 450 members, we have an executive committee uh, that's about uh, 10 to 12 or so of us who um, meet on a regular basis. We meet once every month to conduct our business and to talk about the issues that we're dealing with. Every other month, um, we hold a uh, general interest meeting. We call it a social or a mixer. We usually uh, have a speaker or some topic of interest uh, that's educational. We invite the public. So through those two meetings, we conduct our chapter business and we also try to reach out to the larger public and bring them into uh, the mission of Surfrider and into our chapter's activities. Perfect, and I think this is the right time to give our viewers your contact information, website, phone number, so they can have more feedback. Sure, um, our chapter's uh, email address is Santa Barbara at surfrider.org and our chapter email address is um, surfrider.org slash Santa Barbara. Uh, and we actually also have a, a telephone line that is 899-BLUE, B-L-U-E. Well, Sandy, thank you, and Sonia for being here, and I wish the best for you and the foundation. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.